I have not used the same probably a year in it need to be cleaned a year ago. But you definitely want to take apart like the drip tray, which these, ooh yeah, look at that. Isn't that just cool? Well, maybe it's good that you can't see that. Um, these are dishwasher safe. I'm just gonna soak and hand wash these. Now taking this out is kind of difficult if you're just trying to pull it out like that. But I quickly realized that the easiest thing was to uh, to cover my hand and press from the bottom and it popped right up. But I am actually going to clean this out really quick. Pretty surprised that there's nothing inside of it. And then if you look in my machine, I'm actually pretty surprised even though you can't really see that well, um, that there's no buildup on the inside. And there is a needle, an additional needle inside, so be careful. And then when you pop this back in, of course, you want to make sure that this arrow is pointing upward. I guess I'm going to show you guys what a year of me not using my Keurig has caused, but I'm sure these deposits... Um, the last time I tried to make a cup of coffee was probably six months ago, and I noticed little bits mixed in with my coffee, so that's when I realized it really needed to be clean. But yeah, this is what it looks like, and I used distilled water. Now we're going to start the... Uh... The, the scaling process, and apparently Carrie sells the scaling solution at Walmart. I had no idea. But the kind of DIY recipe you can use is uh, white vinegar and of course distilled water. What I'm actually going to do is what I've seen the professionals do, and I'm going to mix four and a half ounces of vinegar, or I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the machine and then fill up the line to 10 ounces with distilled water. I poured in four and a half ounces of vinegar and then I filled up my reservoir to the max 10 ounce point with the distilled water. And then it's pretty amazing because if you see all that build up, if my camera would focus, it's actually already starting to dissolve. So. All right, my machine's plugged in. I'm gonna power my machine on. Ooh, does this stink? I got the four, close to four and a half ounces of the vinegar and I'm gonna pour it into the reservoir and then I'm going to fill the rest of it with distilled water up to a 10 ounce max mark. Close the lid, power it back on, lift this, you can hear it all drain, close it, and then we hit power. All right, for the second step, when that turns red, what you're supposed to do is actually power it off and you allow the solution to sit for 30 minutes. Set my timer for 30 minutes. 
So it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna power this back on and let it brew. Definitely see the filth in there. So now what you want to do is do three more rinses of just distilled water to the max point. By the third one, it sh you shouldn't smell the vinegar anymore, but in case you do, and if you can still taste it in the water, then keep on doing it. Something else I'm gonna do, just because this reservoir does not come out of this Keurig Mini, Mini I'm gonna actually take a cleansing wipe and wipe out the inside of it. Now I've only done one rinse so far. Oh God, do you see that? I really forgot that this thing comes out. So I'm gonna wash this really quick. Now something else good for you to have would be like a clean toothbrush. Go in and clean those areas. And I'm just using dishwashing liquid to get into there. 